if I'm completely honest, losing my hair is harder than losing my leg. I quickly got a cheap wig to wear until it grew back. Dick trauma and those kids inspired a crazy dream inside of me, to raise money for cancer research by running all the way across Canada. As he increased his training, Terry said it was like running on hot coals. His stump blistered and blood would run down his leg. He also developed bone bruises. But if I pushed past the pain, it got better. His prosthetic leg took too long to make a stride, so Terry learned to add a little extra hop with his left leg. You know, they're calling it the Foxtrot. Of course, I'll drive the support van. You know I wouldn't miss it. What are we calling this whole thing anyway? The Cancer Society says they'll sponsor your run if we can get corporate sponsors. We called it the Marathon of Hope and set out to raise one dollar for every Canadian citizen for cancer research. So, Terry, you're preparing to run the equivalent of a marathon every day. Why are you putting yourself through this? Uh, well, hi, I'm Mayor Dorothy Wyatt. We are so pleased to be part of this historic day. What a challenge this fine man has before him, and we want him to know that the city of St. John is behind him 100%. Uh, Terry, what's the goal for the Marathon of Hope? To raise 24 million for the Canadian Cancer Society. And we were there from the auspicious beginning. <laughs> Good luck, Terry. Oh. oh, wait, I'll join you on your first few blocks. Broke it down. Get that mile down. Get to that sign. Get past the corner and around the bend. That's all it was. That's all I thought about. In some areas, the field directors for the Canadian Cancer Society organized these great events and we raised a lot of money. But in other areas, no one did anything. It was very frustrating. In Quebec, we ran into this language barrier. No one knew why we were there. Nothing was organized. And it was dangerous. Drivers drove so fast, they often ran us off the road. Then the Cancer Society found out that I had an enlarged heart. Of course I knew about it. It was found in my pre-marathon physical. The doctors reluctantly told me I'd be okay as long as I didn't develop dizzy spells, shortness of breath, or rapid tiring. I just didn't tell them that I had already developed all of those symptoms. I'm Bill Vigors. Who? The guy I've been talking to from the Cancer Society. Great to meet you guys. We've got to go over the itinerary for the rest of the marathon. I hope you boys are ready for crowds. <laughs> Hold on. 